Hi, my name is Deborah, and welcome to the Edit by DH, and welcome to another video. It is a special one because it's a Lisa Eldridge one, and you guys know I always crawl out of my little cave when Lisa Eldridge brings out a new launch, and it's an exciting one because it is the Velveteen liquid lipsticks. I know that liquid lipsticks aren't for everyone. I know that not many people even like matte finishes, but today I'm excited because I love matte lipsticks, as many of you may know. And I have, again, a little surprise at the end of the video, but I will go through the colors first, just to minimize an element of surprise. I got all shades, because I was like, you know what? The online shades are never generally accurate. The online swatches are never generally accurate. I've noticed Lisa Eldridge has started to swatch the shades on different skin tones and different lights on her stories, on her Instagram stories, which is great. But I feel like she does that like after the product launches, which in my mind is a bit late. Correct me if I'm wrong. It would be great to see those swatches in natural light pre-launch. Uh, to give to give us a better idea and I know she does her videos which are very informative and helpful but at the same time I feel like again she uses and relies on studio lighting which isn't accurate at all so yeah I just wish that she would switch it up and do the swatches in natural light pre-launch uh, but please correct me if I'm wrong so I have literally just collected the parcel from downstairs and I have to start on a bummer because it was open it was literally came like this and it's actually scary because I feel like it was ripped open already so I hope all the products are in here we shall see I got a seamless skin which I have already skin enhancing treatment cleanser sample yes all products are there thank god otherwise that would have been a bloody disaster so I've got all the shades as you can see, there's a lot to get through. I'm a bit scared for my lips, but I will sacrifice them for you. So there are eight shades in total. She's launched eight shades. And it's easy to kind of get an idea of the shades because they are pre-existing colours in her velvet matte shades, which I will touch upon in this video. There is so much to go through. I know it's just lips, but there's eight shades. Plus, you'll see I have another eight shades of the whole collection. I will talk about that at some point in the video, so please keep watching because it'll be worth it for at least one of you. As I said, she's launched Velveteen and apparently they were supposed to launch last year, but as you know, Lisa Eldridge is a perfectionist and wanted it to be fabulous before she brought it out which I absolutely understand because it is you know her name's on the brand so I completely get it I would be exactly the same and so she finally launched it this year instead of last year so everything that we or some people hate in a liquid lipstick she wanted to sort of counteract with something else or an ingredient etc to make it user friendly I guess for everybody so on her website the Velveteen liquid lipsticks are described as a feather-light formula which wraps lips in a comfortable, even coverage and a nourishing blend of hydrating lip care ingredients. Velveteen allows time for artistic play before setting to a lip-flattering finish that lasts all day. As seen on Lisa's models, Velveteen can be worn as a fluffy, soft lip stain or a full-on bold power pout. It is smudge-proof, budge-proof, non-drying, no chalkiness or crumbling, cruelty-free and vegan. So that's going to be the description for all of the colours. And yeah, she says she thinks of Velveteen as the playful younger sister of her true velvet lip colours. And in terms of ingredients, it has got quite a few key ingredients, including marine algae, which is derived from the Andoraya pinatifida species of seaweed. It's a natural ingredient and it's shown to inhibit many of the key enzymes responsible for skin damage, delivers a powerful combination of protective, soothing and anti-aging properties in one natural ingredient. It also includes pomegranate extract, which is anti-inflammatory and rich in antioxidants. It also has passion fruit seed oil, regenerates and repairs, helps skin retain hydration, naturally high in antioxidants and protects skin from free radicals. 
and it also has vitamin E which we all know is moisturizing antioxidant and caprylic triglyceride which is an emollient that helps soften and so smooth the skin so there's several skincare ingredients in there which is good because normally it's very drying liquid lipsticks just are but they have incredible staying power i have a bit of ptsd from liquid lipsticks because when i used to work for nars we had to because we were like one of the flagship boutiques we had to wear a red lipstick all the time and you know when you're like running around you don't have really time for touch-ups i would just automatically go for like the liquid lipsticks which were the power matte lip power matte lip pigments i think is what, what, it, what it was called and i just remember wearing them but they were just so incredibly drying on their lips although beautiful and lasted ages so I do have a bit of ptsd and i will be comparing it to that but even so i still love liquid lipsticks so let's get started with i think i will go with the lightest to the darkest shade because they are staining and i only have one set of lips like i said so i think the lightest shade is fawn so let's start with that this is the outer packaging standard lisa eldridge outer packaging this is what it looks like it's actually gorgeous very long thin elegant minimal packaging um it just says lisa eldridge on one side and then it's got velveteen liquid lip color and then it tells you the shade fawn on the bottom but you need like a magnifying glass for that my eyesight's getting worse so they all cost 21 pounds each and it has three mil of product so just to make you aware okay so fawn is described as a soft beige with cool and warm undertones all of the lips are silky smooth, super long wearing liquid lips in a customizable formula with a soft focus matte finish, bringing a playful new twist to the velvet lip experience. The wand is like that. There is no scent to it, hallelujah. So with each, I kind of want to try it on as a stain and then a full power. So that's a subtle stain. I mean, obviously this is a nude, so it's not going to be so dramatic. And then if you want full power, it's really easy to apply. Obviously it's easy to say that considering this is a nude color, but this is fawn. So as you can see, the sun is shining on me directly. Fawn. First impressions is very lightweight. I feel like I'm not wearing anything on my lips, which is very unusual because with a liquid lip, you tend to feel it as soon as it sort of like sits on your lip. But this is so light. I also thought I would swatch it on my hand, but swatch the velvet lip color next to it. So you get an idea of the difference. So for the velvet lip color version is actually more lighter and pinky, I believe, whereas the liquid looks a little bit more browny. So that's the difference. And that's fallen on my lips. Feels still a little bit sticky, but it's actually a really pretty nude colour. Now, in her video, she uses her treatment cleanser to remove the product. I will do that if I have to later on <laughs> at the end of this video with the more powerful colours. But for now, I will just stick to like a wet wipe. I just about managed to get it off with a wet wipe, but honestly, I think for it now going forward with the darker colours, I think I'm really going to need a more heavy duty remover. So I think I will have to go in with her cleanser or like an oily thing. Next, I'm going to go in with the colour Muse. And let me again just watch it for you first. So that is Muse Liquid. And that's Muse Velvet Lipstick. So as you can see, they're not the same colours, just to FYI. They're obviously going to, going to be in the same like category or family of colours, but not exactly the same colours. So please bear that in mind. So that's the Velveteen Muse and the li Lipstick Muse. Let me just try it on. Honestly, like it, it is really easy to wear in that it's a one dip and one dip will cover the whole lips. It's very lightweight and easy to apply and add definition. 
I'm deliberately not being too neat with it because I feel like it's going to set and then it's going to be very hard for me to remove. So I'm just mindful of that. And Lisa spoke about having dry lips in her video several times and how it was the best time to really review the lip products. And I agree because I generally tend to suffer more from dry lips, which is funny and ironic because I like matte finishes. But when I look at my lips up close, I can't see any dryness. And it just, like she said, has that soft blurred effect. And I would be interested to see if it continues to be like that as I go along with trying on a thousand different colors. But so far, so good. And so yeah, this is Muse. I just had to draw the curtains down a bit because, uh, tr just turn the blinds down a bit because if the light is too bright, you're not going to get a true reflection of what the color looks like. So that's why. On my hand, I can just about get rid of it, but on my lips, I don't think I will. So maybe there was a, a greater reason why Lisa included her uh, treatment cleanser. So I have lots of cotton buds. And I'm just going to squeeze a little bit of cleanser out and use this to remove it. So finally managed to get it off, but this is gonna take even longer to do this video but like I said it is worth it for you guys. So just to add that she described the Velveteen Muse as a smoky rosewood with pink and brown dirty rose undertones so just to let you know how she described the Muse. Then I'm going to go in with the Affair which is described as a soft and earthy caramel brown on her website. So I don't have a fair in the velvet lipstick, but I just wanted to show you that's what it looks like in the velveteen. Almost reminds me of like a very 90s Spice Girls type of shade. So let me try it on my lips. Now, as I get into darker colors, I will just show you as a stain first. So this is a fair as a stain. So even as a stain, it's got quite a lot of color to it um, and pigment, as you can see. But if you want to go full power, I feel like this is going to be statement lip. So that is a fair in its full glory. On me, it just looks quite like chocolatey, I guess, in person, as opposed to maybe on the screen. And recently when I got a color consultation done, video will be linked down below in Korea. I was told I was more of like a cool tone color. So warm tone stuff don't really tend to suit me. In my opinion, this is a, a warm tone. So what do you guys think? Do you think it suits me? What do you think? Because personally, this color isn't my vibe, but I got it anyway because I wanted to get the full collection for you guys to see, to help maybe make your decision easier when you do get it. So what do you think? Do you think it suits me? I'm not sure. Not so convinced. So that was Affair. Now I'm going to go in with blush. By the way, apart from Affair, I have all the shades in the Velvet Lip Colours for comparison purposes. So you can see that's Velveteen Affair and that's Velvet Lipstick Affair. The Velvet Lip Colour blush looks quite co much cooler than this one. But to be honest, they are both cool tones. So this one on the website is described as a deep pink berry with muted cool undertones. So just to show you. Again, I feel like once I wear this, it's going to be very gothic on me. Because I am on the fairer skin side. So all the deeper colours will look more like darker on me, if that makes sense. Just to give you a heads up. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. Again, I'll wear it as a stain. I think it is so pretty as a stain. It looks like I've had like a blackberry ice lolly and then like the stain sort of remained on my lips but in a nice way. Or you know when you're kids, I, when I was a kid I used to pick blackberries from the bushes and I used to eat, like I just used to gobble it up. I love fruit. And so I used to like gobble it up and my mum would know that I had gobbled up all these blackberries because of the stains on my lips and fingers so that's what it kind of reminds me of but like obviously in a pretty way I'm sure as a child I looked horrendous coming back with like twigs in my hair but I will try it full 
pout as well. I feel like this is giving me like my villainess vibes if I wanted to go for that look. What do you guys think of this colour on me? I personally think it's quite a strong colour and it probably would be nicer if I did it a little bit more neater. I definitely prefer it as a stain on me rather than a full power pout. I just went in with a little bit more and neatened it up because I actually feel like when I first applied it, it had gone on a little bit patchy, which is different to the other shades, which weren't patchy at all. But even now, looking at my lips up close, there are areas of unevenness. And I wonder if it's because of the cleanser or whether it's this particular shade, but honestly, I'm not loving it in its full power pout. I definitely prefer it as a stain. I think as a stain, it's gorgeous. This, no, not really. And also, if you're going to go with a colour like this, that's a little bit more bold and a statement lip, it needs to be flawless in application. But like I said, I don't know if it's because I've been trying, I've been cleaning with the treatment cleanser in between, or if it's my lips, or if it's this product, or if it's a faulty batch. I don't know, but it's not going on as evenly as the other shades were. Okay, that took me a lot longer to remove just because of the colour. And also I feel like, you know, if you're just cleansing at the end of the day, you don't mind if the makeup smudges and the lip goes crazy and you look a little bit like the Joker. But right now I'm trying to do a video and look civilized. So it was a little bit harder to remove. But anyway, let's go on to the more dramatic shades. I've just done four shades and now I've got four more left and they're only going to get more and more dramatic. So next is Rain. And Rain, I remember when it's, it's one of the newer launches. When Rain first came out, I just was obsessed with it. I still am, to be honest. But for me, it's not like an everyday colour. So let me just quickly show you Rain. So Velveteen Velvet Lip. Velveteen Velvet Lip. Again, to me, it looks like different tones. The velveteen looks a little bit more reddish to me, whereas this looks more rosewoody to me. Anyway, online is described as a muted natural medium pink with a blend of warm and cool undertones. So velveteen, velvet lip colour. Again, I will apply a little and just do a little cheeky stain. That is so pretty as a stain. Very bright and summery. Very appropriate for the weather. Very appropriate, very appropriate for the season. Velvet Rain. Listen guys, I love this colour in the Velvet Lip colour and I love it in the Velveteen too. It's just such a gorgeous shade and I feel like it's so complimentary for my particular skin tone. So if you're similar to me, you'll know that it suits you too, but I just love it. I think it instantly brightens your face and complexion. I would say it's a little bit brighter on my actual lips than it is in camera. That is Velvet Rain. By the way, one of the shades I will choose to keep it on as a wear test and I'll update you in the pinned comments. So just keep an eye out for that. Also, to be a little bit different to all the other lip colours, I wanted to just show you as a blush as well, one of them. So I decided to choose Rain. So I'm going to apply it with a brush, obviously. I do have a bit of blush on already, but I feel like I need a bit of a oomph and top up. So I'm just applying literally the smallest amount. And I feel like it just instantly perked up my complexion. Hello, where have I been? I feel a lot more alive. So that is rain on my cheeks, which is a gorgeous colour. So I'm going to remove rain for now, but I probably will reapply it later and just do like a wear test. I have um, someone coming over soon and she I've never met her before. She's not going to be at my place for long and she doesn't know me. She doesn't know what I do. So I feel like she's going to catch me on like the wildest colour. I'm going to have to like open the door and look like literally uh, Wednesday Adams. So it should be really interesting. She's going to be like, whoa, you know, it's only a Monday. Anyway, so the next 
colour. There's three more. You know what? Let's go with Dragon. I think that'd be such a fun shade. So Dragon's like a very warm orangey colour from memory. Love how it looks in the packaging. I think it's so gorgeous and expensive looking. So that's Velveteen and that's the lip colour. Very similar, but Velveteen looks a little bit deeper. So on the website, it is described as a burnt, soft, rusty red with warm yellow undertone. So technically, this colour shouldn't suit me, according to the colourist. But I know it's not biblical, so it's fine. I'm just going to apply with my finger first for a stain. So this is a stain, very wearable, very pretty, but let's see as a full-on pout. So that is Dragon, and I think it's gorgeous. I don't know what you guys think, and whether you think it's not good for my cool toned self. By the way guys, I am joking, I know it's not biblical, I know not to take it that seriously but yeah what do you guys think do you think it suits me i think it's such a gorgeous color it just reminds me of like an old hollywood sort of color and i feel like it's very autumnal as well that it's such a gorgeously rich decadent color and i love it so that's dragon normally i would go ribbon and then jazz because jazz is a stronger colour but I think I'm gonna go with jazz first and then add end on like a classic colour. Velveteen and velvet lip colour in jazz. So again you can see the difference. So that is jazz as a stain. It's more of a deeper berry colour than the blush I think it was but again still very very pretty not the neatest but I am going to go in full power obviously hence why again not the neatest but I'm not loving this colour it makes me look like a black and white film actor this is the shade where I said I felt like if I opened the door now I would feel like Wednesday Adams. <laughs> I feel like the person who knocks on the door will be like, dear Lord. But anyway, if I want a really statement, gothic, emo, Wednesday Adams vibe type lipstick, this is the one. But it is not my vibe. Even during winter, unless I'm feeling in that really rebellious mood, I think I've worn this kind of colour like, I think I wear this kind of colour like once every 10 years. So unless I'm in that mood, then no, but you get the gist. And I've for sure preferred it as a stain, but it's still very, very fun. So that is Velvet Jazz. I'm resuming filming. I had to quickly deal with the lady that came. Thankfully, it was after I removed my Wednesday Adams lip color. And thank God I didn't have it on because she got lost in my apartment complex and I had to go find her. So imagine if I had to run around my apartment complex and bump into all my neighbours with my Wednesday Adam lip colour. That would have been hilarious. Anyway, so we only have one more colour to go, which is the classic Velvet Ribbon. So this is Velveteen and this is the lip colour. Here there's not much difference obviously there is a difference but it's not as obvious as the other shades i would say so velveteen and the velvet lip color that's another stain what's well, not to like very pretty this is obviously velvet ribbon a very classic red and it's it's such a beautiful classic hollywood red on my face is a lot more red than it is on screen however i i do like this color it's a beautiful color i think it looks better on other people particularly like very pale caucasian ladies or i have a an indian friend and these sort of bluey reds looks amazing on her 
on me i think it looks nice but personally i think classic reds suit me more like a red red rather than these sort of reds um but i still really 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 like this color like i said it's a very classic hollywood type red and that is exactly why i wanted to end on this red which is very very iconic on the website it says ribbon is a classic pillar box red with blue undertone so yeah like i said i prefer reds with more of a, a, a red red like a classic red rather than with a blue undertone but it's very beautiful and normally they say that reds with a blue undertone make your teeth whiter perhaps but yeah like that is all eight shades and we finally got there gosh trying to remove it was a nightmare but thank god for this sachet of treatment cleanser otherwise this video would never have happened in her video she did mention that you could use a fluffy brush i think it was her brush number eight to use it as sort of like a korean lip stain or you know that like fluffy ombre lip which isn't my vibe but it is an option or you could do it as a stain as you saw me doing or wear it in its full power glory as i am now and as you know you can easily wear it as a blush as well so you've got the option to do both i would say out of all the colors my favorite shades were probably fawn if i wanted like a really neutral shade this if i want a red but rain especially was like my favorite color so like i said i will do like a, a kind of a, a longevity test and i will see how long it lasts right now it's about four o'clock just after four and i will see into the evening how it lasts i'm going to remove this though because i mean with food it's going to go everywhere but it is very comfortable very lightweight it's not crunchy at all and by crunchy i mean where i've worn liquid lipsticks before like it just leaves your lips feeling quite crusty even if your lips are dry it's drier than the dryness of your lips if that makes sense it makes it drier and it sucks all the moisture out of your lips bear in mind this is the eighth lip product i'm wearing i've removed all in between on off on off and my lips are looking very smooth it i don't know what it is i don't know if like the condition of my lips is better today i don't know if it's the saponins from from the cleanser i don't know if it's because of lisa's lip product but it's actually a flawless finish it really is so i'd be very curious to see if it lasts the finish lasts and this feeling of comfortability and lightweightness lasts all day because if it does it's easily easily my number one favorite liquid lipstick just gonna put it out there so as i showed you at the beginning of this video i have eight extra velveteen products which is basically the whole collection times two brand new for one of you lucky people i will be announcing the giveaway details very very soon so please do keep an eye out if you know any other lisa eldridge community fans who perhaps don't know me yet please do share my page share this video share my instagram page because i will be announcing the competition and giveaway details there very very soon keep your eyes peeled and on a like a less bubbly note I wanted to say that um, with Lisa's new store launch at the, in Selfridges, I don't know how many of you were there. I was there on the day of the launch. I came a little bit later, I would say after store opening. So maybe half 10 in the morning because Selfridges opens at 10. And I don't know about you guys, but I was a little bit disappointed with the way that it was managed because it was managed more by like Selfridges staff and security rather than the Lisa Eldridge's staff members and I feel like they needed a Lisa Eldridge's team member to be like at different points of the queue that weren't retail staff members someone from head office if you know what I mean that could just direct and guide people and make sure that things were running smoothly and it like the waiting in the queue was one thing and I was happy to do that and I was anticipating it but it's like I got into the queue because that's where I was told that, you know, it's the main counter. It's where we would get the Velvet Bloom lipstick. And obviously on the Instagram post, it said that Lisa would be on counter between 11 and 12, I think it was. So I was like in the queue. 
at the time that Lisa Eldridge had just arrived on the main counter, got the Velvet Bloom lipstick and then the lady who works for Lisa Eldridge team said, oh, by the way, just to let you know, this isn't the cue to meet Lisa Eldridge, it's just the cue to get the lipstick. And I was like, okay. And then I was like, okay, that's fine. I didn't even make a fuss of it because I've met Lisa before a few times, but I was like, okay, so once we get past this bit, which direction does the queue go? And she was like, um, to be honest with you, I'm not really sure. And then she admitted, and fair enough, like, bless her. Maybe she shouldn't have said it, but she was like, to be honest with you, the suffragists team are pissed off with us. And I wasn't surprised because honestly, the queue, the management wasn't really there, it was lacking from the Lisa Eldridge team. So yeah, it just seemed a bit like chaotic. And in, from what I could see, Lisa hadn't been on counter for that long. And from the post, from the Instagram post, it said that I think she was supposed to be there for an hour. And I don't understand when I was only like, when we were only like a few meters away from her, why we couldn't just be given the opportunity to meet her and say hello. So that was interesting. And then the lady I was with, I ended up meeting a lady in the queue who we ended up like swapping Instagram details and we said we'll go for a coffee soon. She was so lovely and she is newer to Lisa Eldridge. So she wasn't that bothered about meeting Lisa Eldridge. She just wanted to potentially buy some lipsticks. And initially I think she had her eye on Velvet Jazz. So she wanted to just try it on and buy it. And she was like, oh, she asked again the same girl, can I buy it on counter? And then she was like, oh no, you have to go to the other queue, which was the pop-up queue to go buy and try it on. So it was a little bit like a lot of queuing, not a lot of information, a lot of different queues for different things, but that wasn't clearly communicated in the beginning. So to be honest, I was a bit disappointed. And this is me being real, by the way, because like I said, I can love a brand. I can love an artist. I can love um, the products. Doesn't mean I'm going to suck up for the sake of sucking up. Like I'm going to be honest. By the way, there's a whole reason I'm telling you this. So bear with me. Anyway, so then I went with the lady and there was no one to help her. There weren't any there weren't enough staff members for a launch day let's be real and so in the end i ended up helping her and as a result she ended up buying the velvet ribbon instead because it was just such a beautiful color on her her skin tone and she ended up buying a lip pencil but again i just feel like if i wasn't there that's a sale they would have lost out on and also there was a lisa eldridge talk at selfridges and I didn't see it being advertised, like I'm signed up to a notifications, I'm si subscribed to a newsletter, it wasn't anywhere. It just sold out like that. And I don't know, it was a bit disappointing because I felt like, you know, I've been a Lisa Eldridge fan and follower for, I think, I want to say 10 years. And um, I knew about her makeup launch from 2015 because I went to a talk where she was being interviewed by Sally Hughes. and. So I, I've been a long time follower and fan of her products and to be, you know, I felt like the talk, it should have been announced way in advance to give everyone a fair chance of like applying for it and getting a ticket for it, which she didn't do. But when she did her London pop up in the initial one in Covent Garden and she did a series of talks, she gave ample opportunity for people to kind of find out about it and book it, which she didn't do this time. So that was a bit disappointing as well. Plus my previous experiences of kind of like poor customer service with the first Covent Garden pop-up. There were just so many things where I honestly felt disappointed. And like, I'm that type of person, whether a brand is big or not, whether you're a business owner of a small business, a large business, I don't care. If I respect you, I will give you feedback and I won't just slate you on Google. I won't just slate you online. So, you know, being completely honest with you guys, I've I wrote an email and I gave feedback and I said, you know, this isn't a complaint, but this is feedback. And I am disappointed as a long time follower and fan of this brand. And I said, you know, like, yeah, you have great products, but at the end of the day, there is so much competition. And I'm just worried that, you know, with the launch of Selfridges and all these things, like you're going to lose your one USP, which is excellent customer service and having a shit together, basically. I would hate for you to lose all your customers like myself like who i just feel like i've been a fan for so long and i buy a lot of your products and it's a bit like what what you know at least have your shit together for events and launches etc so anyway i i wrote a, an email and gave that feedback to them and as a result they did get back to me but they didn't get back to me straight away i had to chase them for a response which again was very unusual for the lisa eldridge team 
then when they did get back to me they told me like there will be a loyalty program in the future and this is why i'm telling you the story because i do want to let you know that apparently apparently i don't know when there will be a loyalty program but i mean if they did a loyalty program from the beginning i would have accumulated a lot of points shall we say so hopefully they'll do the loyalty program very soon to reward customers like ourselves who do respect Lisa, who love Lisa's products, who buy a lot of her products. At the end of the day, we're spending our hard-earned hard -earned money, right? So hopefully there will be a reward program, a lo loyalty program. And then secondly, they did, in the interest of transparency, offer me a ticket to an event that she was apparently doing in September, which is another talk. Not many details were given to me. And again, I was like, well, I didn't write this feedback to complain or get freebies that was not the purpose at all it was literally just to give you feedback in terms of the september event i said you know what date is it i don't want to like say yes and then not turn up because obviously i can't keep myself free for the whole of september and then again they said you know we'll get back to you and it's been weeks and they haven't got back to me so it's just a bit like mm, i don't know it's it's not sitting right with me but i feel like is a team thing and not necessarily Lisa Eldridge thing at least I hope not but I just wanted to be really transparent with you because you guys know in the Lisa Eldridge community that I do love Lisa Eldridge and I have been a fan of hers for a while and I've met so many great people from her community um, and this is not <clears throat> an attack on her by any means but you know from the beginning i've always said that my channel is an honest channel i'm not here to suck up to anybody i'm not here to be inauthentic or hide things from my audience and that's why i'm telling you this it was also just to let you know that there is a loyalty program apparently coming up i wanted to let you know how i found out about it and then also that there's an event in september but yeah going back to a good note i i am really excited to do this giveaway so like i said it will be very very soon i'll make sure i get it done before the end of july so keep your eyes peeled for that hope you enjoyed this video did you get any of the products from the launch if so what shades and what do you think of the collection in general now that you've seen my video is there any that you've changed your mind on in a good or bad way let me know your thoughts down below but yeah, just continuing to thank you guys so much, especially my Lisa Eldridge community. I really appreciate your ongoing support. I will comment down below later on and give you an update on how my lips lasted. But so far, so good. I'm really impressed. And I know that she's got other launches coming up like concealers and other things. So I can't wait. And I'll see you on the next video. Take care.